Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So I first want to start off, and I've had to say this in all readings, but I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for sending birthday wishes yesterday, but my birthday was not yesterday. My birthday is May 29th, so this coming Wednesday. But I did a birthday discount reading sale yesterday, and I did it yesterday versus on my actual birthday because I've been saying for a while on the channel I do not want to do anything for my birthday per se, but this will be the big 40. So my friends are like, girl, we don't care what you're talking about. We doing something. Even if we just go out and have a meal or, or drink a few we're doing something. So I knew if they somehow got me out of my house on my birthday that, you know, um, I wouldn't be able to respond to you guys' emails and things like that when you place your order. So I wanted to give you guys all my attention in case you wanted to place orders for the discount reading sale. So again, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I claim it and I accept it in advance. I'm grateful. It did not go unnoticed and unseen. I'm so grateful for the blessings. I'm so grateful that you guys took the time out to even acknowledge me. And um, I want to thank you guys again, 10 times, 10 fold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, my birthday is this coming Wednesday, May 29th. And I'm also saying that because you guys know I post every single Wednesday. I post collectives. And just in case I say, you know, mention that my birthday is on that specific day, I want you guys to be like, yeah, we know you do the twins. Gemini twins, but baby, you can't handle two birthdays. Which one is it? My birthday is May 29th. But again, thank you so much. I accept every single word and I acknowledge and I'm grateful, okay? So thank you. Um, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. So for Sagittarius, Sun, Rise, and Venus individuals, the song that I got was All I Want is Forever by J.T. Taylor and Regina Bell. J.T. Taylor happens to be a Leo and Miss Regina Bell is a Cancer. So you'll be doing a Leo or a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. So let's see what we get for you guys today. For my Saggies, we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is a Tempest card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers, Okay. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Eight of Pentacles, the actual nine to five, putting in the work. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting with this. A lot of you all have put in a lot of work on your time, your energy, just who you are as a person. You put a lot of focus into establishing something, into setting roots, and you're deserving. Because what I heard with this is you deserve every version of forever. You don't deserve something that's fleeting or short-lived or somebody who's hot and cold and fickle. You don't deserve that. You deserve every single version of forever, whatever that looks like for you. You deserve that. And I feel like the universe is working that out in your favor as well because Eight of Pentacles is actual putting in the work also. So let's see what we get for Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Pentacles and I have the Eight of Cups. Wow. Some of you guys could definitely be walking away from someone that you feel like on an emotional level they just weren't supporting you or something may feel off about the connection. We're going to see. Bottom of the deck, you got Strength Card, Leo. And I did mention one of the singers in this song, JT Taylor, happens to be a Leo. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Someone rides in Venus. If you know, she has chains on, on, on this lion. And again, the name of the song is All I Want Is Forever. Like, come on, you look, we, we bound together. Chains bind people. So it's like, look, we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this song and dance called Life Forever together. They're, they're moving towards the future together, moving out of darkness into the light. So you may, if you're in a relationship right now, you may have even been questioning whether or not you want to be in this long-term relationship, whether or not you wanted to go the distance. You, you could be questioning that, but it's like, you know what? We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep fighting strength. You need to have strength to fight through something. And I feel like you and this person are going to continue to fight for your connection if you're already dealing with someone. And then, like I said, for those of you who are single, you're going to have a very strong strength, a very strong connection coming in that you guys are going to be like... Bonnie and Clyde, not in a negative way, you get what I'm saying, but you guys are going to be like, people could even see you two as like being joint at the hip, and you have a very strong connection, and that's what you will have with someone that you're getting ready to, to connect with if you're already single, okay? So let's go ahead, yeah, ooh, we got a lot of Leo, whoa, 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 okay, Leo, 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 if you're single, you could be meeting somebody in Leo season, that's July, August time frame, or you could be meeting someone who is a Leo, Specifically a Leo sun sign. You got a lot of Leo there. Wow. Okay. So let's go. There you go. See, it's not going to be that long because here's your card. So right in front of you, you have a six of swords. Um, the six of swords for me is always somebody who's sneaking away in the night. Someone who's leaving a situation without telling people. 
Because sword is communication and mental. Sword of is just sword down is no. So this is like, I'm not telling nobody. I'm sneaking away. She has that hood on her head. So some of you guys may have felt like leaving the situation and just giving up on it. Or you've already checked out mentally because sword is mental for some of you all. You have your major arcana, the tempest card, and then right behind it, you got the seven of pentacles, not moving forward, but not moving backwards. Hmm. Yeah, some of you guys feel like the situation has been very stagnant, and you're just like, I don't want to keep moving in something and keep investing in something, because you have seven pentacles. Pentacles are investments, okay? I don't want to keep investing in something that just isn't giving me what I need, because all these pentacles here, but her basket is empty, so you somebody feels unfulfilled in the situation. But here's the thing, her basket is empty, but there's a ladder that allows her to climb and get those pinnacles. So I feel like, like I said, with this strength card, somebody's like, okay, I'm going to have to put in the work. Because it takes work for her to climb up that ladder and pull those pinnacles. So I feel like somebody's going to get a download from the most high spirit. Family members, you know, with, with words of wisdom and things like that. Telling you, like, you know, marriage or relationships are hard work. And we know it is. And they're like, you know, you got to keep working on it. I keep hearing, like, somebody saying you got to keep working on it. Because remember, we started off with the eight of pinnacles. That's putting in the work. You could have been with this person for seven, going on eight years. You got six, seven, and then we had the eight of pentacles starting off. So between six and eight years, this may resonate with someone. Bottom of the deck, you got the king of wands. Definitely, definitely could be dealing with a Leo, okay, for sure. Again, if you're single, you can meet somebody in Leo season or this person is a Leo. Now, it can be both. Like, you meet if you're out and about socializing, you can meet this person while they're out celebrating their birthday. So, they could be, you could be Leo season and they're celebrating their birthday, of course, in Leo season. So, let's park the deck. Mm-hmm. The hermit seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. All I want is forever. I'm looking for forever with my person. Either way you put it, they're going in the same direction. So, I, I like this energy, to be quite honest with you. I feel like just right now, somebody may be in a rut, or if you're single, you could be feeling like, I'm never going to find my person, but ooh, you will. The emperor, for every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates, okay? This is someone who, okay, a king, is he's a big deal, but he ain't no emperor. <laughs> I just heard the uh, part where Beyonce says, she ain't no diva, and then she like points at somebody. It's like this person... You may have been putting somebody on a pedestal or putting somebody on a throne who wasn't your person, but then your real person comes in for some of you all. Okay, I'm getting that also. And when I say a chain of divas, it makes me think about that Beyonce part. Beyonce is a Virgo. We just had the hermit, and that's Virgo. So some of you guys could be definitely dealing with a Virgo. Some of rising Venus. You got pinnacles here. That could be Virgo. Somebody's birthday could be on a 7th, 17th, or 27th. With that 7 reference, somebody could be a life path or a personal year 7 also. So it's first and last initial is S O F or D. Okay. You have the magician reverse again, another reference to Virgo. So you got Virgo and Gemini. We're in Virgo see we're in Gemini season, pardon me, right now. And you got in reverse. So the magician is a master manifester. They can manifest whatever it is they want. In reverse, a lot of you all will be feeling like, oh my God, I just seem like I can't manifest. I can't call in what it is I want as far as a relationship. So I'm just gonna ride life, ride through life solo dolo. Uh, sorry to tell you this, or I'm happy to tell you this, that's not the case. You will not ride so low, do low through life. That's not happening. The universe is bringing somebody in. They even give you a ladder so that you can reach whatever goals or whatever it is you want in life. So let's get a clarify for, well, damn. Sideways, will of fortune, uh-huh. See, that, that makes a lot of sense. Major arcana, definite. The will of fortune upright is like you're getting everything that you're hoping, wishing for, and reverse is like, the opposite of fortune is misfortune and unfortunate. You got it sideways. So they're saying like, look, <laughs> you're thinking that something isn't coming in, but it's like it's almost here. I don't see this turn in reverse like you won't have it. I'm seeing it getting ready to turn up, right? Now, with the Wheel of Fortune, I'm going to say again, you keep getting strong Leo references, right? You got a line right there. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. For some of you guys, you're going to meet this person in Leo season. Again, July. Oh, remember I was saying seven. Leo season starts in July. Okay, so you can meet this person in July or August because that's Leo season. Some of you guys will meet somebody new in July or they're going to be a July Leo. I'm telling you. Let's get a clarifier for the seven of pentacles. Look, seven. Again, seven of pentacles, seven of swords. Why is she the manipulator, sneak conniver? I feel like this is you mentally thinking that you're not going to find your person. They're saying, oh, the wheel is getting ready to turn in your favor. It's actually turning already because it's sideways. It may feel like it's turning very slow, but it's turning in your favor. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the seven of pentacles. Damn. 
You got the uh, magician again in reverse. Yeah, see, this is just mental. I'm going to tell you straight up right now, you all feel like I'm not lucky. My basket is always empty. I'm never catching the person that I want. You know, I'm not getting the type of connections that I want in my life. It just seems like I'm I'm not able to manifest. I'm telling you right now, that's not true. Hold on to your strength. Hold on to your beliefs. Because I want to show you this right up under strength. You guys see, I was not tampering with the energy here. He's going towards, they're going towards each other. Six of one, success, attainment, achievement, and victory. And both of them are strongly associated and strongly linked to Leo. A lot of you guys are going to meet somebody in Leo season. Or this person could very well be a July Leo. Now, if you ended something with a Leo, they could be a July Leo. And they could have been lying. Some manipulation. Because that's manipulating the elements in reverse. And that could be the case which you're moving away from slowly but surely. But I'm going to tell you, I, I feel like a lot of people are in doubt about whether or not they're going to meet that person. But it's already been written. Every single one of these energies here have a book. It's already been written. It's been, already been preordained that you're going to find your person. You got to come out of that negative thought and, and keep moving. Because that's not moving forward, not moving backwards, just standing in place. You got to keep moving. And also, here's the thing. If you're one of those people that's not social, you don't like to get out and about because she's outside, how are you going to manifest your person? That's why it's in reverse. You got to get outside the house. Yeah, you could meet people online dating, but at some point, you're going to meet them physically, aren't you? Okay? Getting that message also for somebody out there, okay? So, Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.